hockey training, and today we're going to be working on butterfly slides. Okay, so when we use our butterfly slide, it's in a game situation when the pass is coming maybe to a person standing back door, and we don't have time to T-push and stand for that shot. So what we're going to do is slide into our butterfly. And depending on where that person is, that'll, that'll predict if we're going to have our hands out in more of a reaction butterfly, or our hands in in more of a blocking butterfly. So we'll go over that. So first things first, we always want to start square to our puck. Okay, and as we talked about in the last video, Whenever you move as a goalie, you always want to look, turn, and then push. With my younger kids, we always get them to sing the song, head, shoulders, knees, and toes. So that's the same kind of idea. So if I'm sliding to the threat that's back door, I'm going to look with my head, turn my hands and my shoulders, which includes my glove and my stick. Then I'm going to turn my lower body, and then I go into my butterfly slide. Again, square to where that, wherever the shot is coming from. Okay, so if we want to get faster, head, shoulders, knees, and push. Okay? Same thing on the other side. Whoop, turn, push. And you can stand up again at the end. Okay, so when we execute the butterfly slide, like I said earlier, it depends where the player's shooting from if we want to have our hands out in a reaction butterfly or in in our blocking butterfly. So just to recap, reactionary butterfly. Rule of thumb is if the shot's a, a stick length or more away from you. So this second puck, as you can see, is over a stick length, probably a stick and a half away from me. So I, if I were to butterfly for the shot or butterfly slide, my hands would be in a reactionary butterfly. So they're out in front of me, very loose. There are holes underneath my arms, but that's okay because from this distance, I can still bring my elbows in, bring my gloves in and make that safe, okay? If I were to go into a blocking butterfly, looks more like this. So my elbows are in, my hands are down, still square to the puck. But this would be, again, if the puck is in tight to the second puck here. So same thing, all the holes are closed because the puck is so tight that if they were to shoot and if I had my hands out, I wouldn't be able to react to the shots coming underneath my arms. So your blocking butterfly for a shot that's in tight and then your reactionary butterfly for a puck that's out a bit further, okay? So let me just show you the butterfly slide using the different hand positions. So for the far puck first, so again I'm here, I'm looking, I'm turning, I'm pushing, and I'm leading with my glove, and square to my reaction butterfly. Okay? And then my blocking butterfly, same thing, looking, turning, pushing, and bringing my hands in. And in a motion, caution flies right out the door. Big wall. So 
can see the power push from this side. Again, butterfly, the reactionary butterfly. Rebound, looking, turning, pushing, and square to that puck.